So, what happens when you seriously don't like your customers or your clients? Maybe they make you angry, maybe they're nagsters and they are constant complainers, or worse yet, they know more than you, or so they think. And if they did, wouldn't they just do it themselves instead of hiring you? Maybe you feel like you're a babysitter. Sounding familiar? If you have this going on in your business and within your team, then make sure you pass this one on to them. Recently, we established a new ain't going there role. It's become a part of our customer care and more importantly, a part of our company culture. And it's really simple. We aren't allowed to speak badly about a customer. The reality is that most customers are absolutely wonderful to work with. It's just that 1% that's kind of a pain in the patootie, right? The old saying that the squeaky wheel gets the all is so true with bad customers. We give way more time and energy to them than we do our good customers. We also expend way more negative energy around those customers. But worse yet, this is what happens. When you complain and your team hears you, guess what? They start to view that customer or client as a problem and you start manifesting that expectation for you and them. This is true of anything you complain about, honestly. Your life, your relationships, your children, anything. When you do this, you're framing your reality in a negative way. When you complain about your customers in this way, you're painting a negative picture of those upon whom you are financially dependent. Problem. Instead of complaining, decide on a word that will help you and your team label those difficult clients or situations. For example, today I had a challenging conversation with a customer. Or your customer care team can message it like, I had a challenge today with a customer who requested this. The reality is that people have bad days and how they act today could be a sign of a multitude of things. I mean, face it, we all have bad days, right? And things that we would do in those moments might not be a real reflection of truly who we are. So giving people a little bit of grace around the negativity that they're trying to inject into your business is always a good thing. And again, when you label your customers as quote unquote bad, Bad, you're setting them up as the enemy instead of the very person who helps you pay your bills. Problem. So think about making this a rule in your business as well. Never badmouth a customer. Instead, figure out how you can talk about the frustrations without painting your customer as the evil genie. I think you will find that you are going to love up on all of your customers more with this simple strategy instead of focusing that negative energy on the few. Today's simple tip is never badmouth a customer.